Hello everyone, this is Hassan with Handy Broth and today we're going to show you how to do a wood fence over a chain link fence. So this is a very simple DIY. If you have an existing chain link fence and you don't want to remove it and just want to put a new wooden fence on top of it, this is the perfect video for you guys, you know. So what we're going to do today is this chain link fence right behind me and we would be installing a wooden picket fence on it without removing the existing chain link fence and no digging required. Very simple steps, basic tools, and I think you can do it. Please make sure you watch the entire video because along the process, I'm going to give you a lot of tips and tricks and some alternate ways to do things so so that you can pick what really fits with your uh, project or with your uh, fence that you have. All right, these are the fence picket that we would be installing them today. Um, six feet in length and 5.5 uh, inches wide. All right, so now we'll be cutting the two by six for the vertical post. So let's talk about the material that we will be using today. Uh, we're gonna need two by six for the vertical post. Uh, we're gonna use two by four for the horizontal members and then uh, uh, fence pickets. Um, uh, for the tool that we'll be using is a circular saw to cut the wood and, uh, and your basic tools such as your tape measure, level, uh, those kind of stuff. Um, the impact driver to fasten the screws. Um, and then we would also be using a nailer just to hold the picket in place uh, um, until we uh, screw them down. For, for fasteners, we would be using a U-bolt to, um, to secure the two by six against the post. And then you're gonna be using a uh, uh, exterior screws or deck screws for securing the two by fours onto these posts that we installed. And then finally for the pickets, we're going to be using a screws, um, deck screw about like uh, one and three quarter or two inches in length to secure them to the two by four. So please, uh, you can see the links uh, down below uh, in the description for all the material and the tools uh, we have used. So I'm going to show you the close-up of what I'm going to do next here is so this is the post of the existing chain link fence and, uh, and this is the um, the 2x6 that we just cut um, we cut the height of the 2x6 um, so that it matches with the fence that we have on the left hand side same way we are going to cut the pickets as well and then we are going to use these U boards to secure them you know so let me show you how it looks like. This is a U board which is comes with a plate as well. We're gonna be going through here um, like this. We're gonna do a we gonna, we will pre drill drill the holes on the two by six post that we just. Uh, cut and then we're gonna secure them uh, right here um, and we'll be just securing our 2x6 post to, to the um, existing uh, changing fence post here. All right so we just got a rough marking here um, this is the line and I'll be just pre-drilling the two holes here for the u bolt and same for, for down below. 
and uh, you're gonna be repeating this process for all of the other pores as well. So right now I just want to leave it hand tight um, so that when I put so that it has some some play you know so when I'm going to put my two by four across this board they are going to adjust it and then once the two by four is installed I just go ahead and then I tighten them up here you know? so just make sure you tight them and tight them enough that they just don't come up loose. So now I'm going to repeat this step for the rest of my um, three remaining posts. Alright guys, we have the posts in place now, as you can see. Now we go ahead and install the 2x4 uh, horizontally, uh, one on the top, one on the bottom, between each of these four poles that we have installed. Alright, now that we have the framing done and uh, the U-bolt tightened, everything set, it's time to cut the picket and install them. Alright guys, as you can see the pickets have been installed, um, we just use the nail to hold them in place and now we're going to screw them in um, using a 1 and 5 inch or 1 and 3 quarter or you can even use a 2 inch exterior screw. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and now you feel confident you can do your own fence uh, yourself in a similar fashion. Um, please uh, provide us with your feedback if we could have done something differently or a little better or share your thoughts, you know. Um, any comments are welcome. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe so that you can stay tuned for the upcoming uh, exciting videos. And give us a thumbs up and uh, thank you again for watching.